This brief video will show you how to easily configure and personalize your Intuos Pro pen tablets. Customizing these controls is simple and makes your tablet experience more productive and enjoyable. Topics will include Express View and the customization of Express Keys, Touch Ring, Pen Switch, Touch Gestures, and other common adjustments. This video assumes you've already installed the tablet driver and connected your tablet. This will need to be done before continuing. These are your Express Keys. To see all the tablet settings, press the Show Settings Express Key. By default, this is the second Express Key from the top. Here you can directly select the settings you want to change, which launches the Tablet Properties window. You can also get to the Wacom Tablet Properties window in System Preferences on a Mac or through Control Panels on a PC. To start, let's change the function of an Express Key. From the drop-down menu of any button, choose any of these functions. For this example, we will set the Express Key to perform the keyboard shortcuts to Undo, Control, or Command-Z, which works in almost all applications. Select Keystroke, and in the corresponding window, press the keyboard keys exactly as if you were performing the function within an application. Now click in the Name field, and name it Undo. Then click OK. Note, you cannot tab to the Name field, as it will record this keystroke as well. Now when you press the Show Settings button, the name is Undo, and pressing the Express key will send the Control or Command Z combination to all applications. Intuos Pro also has a special feature called Express View. If you need a quick reminder of any Express Key function, you can rest your finger lightly on the key, and a heads-up view of all the keys will appear on screen. Now to take a look at the touch ring. Select the touch ring tab in the Preferences pane. This is a four-mode touch ring and can be customized in the same way as Express Keys. It is designed for opposing functions like zoom in or zoom out, one setting for each direction. It also has a speed adjustment which regulates how fast this event takes place. The button in the center of the touch ring toggles between its four modes. The lights around it help identify the current mode and function. For example, the default for the upper left is Auto Scroll Zoom, and pressing the button toggles to the next function. Changing the pen switch settings follows the same logic. Select the pen in the tools list and change its settings by selecting the appropriate function from the drop-down menus. You can also customize your touch settings. The first tab, Touch Options, allows you to modify your basic touch settings like pointer speed, scrolling, and acceleration by using simple slider controls. Double Tap Time defines how fast you have to tap twice on the tablet to get it to act like a double click from a mouse. On the Standard Gestures tab, you can turn off or on individual gestures. The My Gestures tab allows you to use Wacom Touch specific gestures. The gestures are powerful, but you can also define your own functions for them. If at any point you want to set a tab in the Properties window back to its default settings, you can do so by clicking the Default button in the lower right corner of the tab. This resets only the tab you're on and leaves all other customizations alone. You can turn off touch input either by pressing the touch on off express key or by selecting touch in the tools list and unchecking the box labeled enable touch input. Your express keys, touch ring, touch, and pen can all be set up to perform the same functions in all applications or they can be customized to behave differently in specific applications. For example, the pen switches can have specific behaviors in Photoshop, but maintain their default functions for all other applications. When customizing for an application, you'll want it running in the background so that you can test your settings. To add application-specific settings for the pen, select the pen in the Tools list, then click the plus on the far right of the Applications list. From this list of running applications, select Photoshop and click OK. Make sure the pen and the applications are both selected before you make changes to the tab in the lower section of the Properties window. In this example, choose Modifier from the drop-down and select the Alt or Option box. Modifiers simulate keyboard keys that are used to change the behavior of application tools. For instance, the Alt Option modifier temporarily changes the stamp tool in Photoshop from its brush mode to its selection mode for sampling the source point for cloning. Once set, simply hold the side switch to sample, then let it go to clone in with pressure from your sample point. Another example might be to choose Radial Menu for the side switch position closest to the tip. Radial menus and submenus can be built based on workflow, 
application menu structure, or simply the keyboard shortcuts you use most often. On the Intuos Pro, radial menus can hold literally thousands of functions. And a well thought out radial menu can greatly improve efficiency in most applications. Although it may look intimidating at first, the basic instructions for customizing settings is simple. Select the tool to be modified, select or add an application for which you want to make changes, then in the tabs below select the desired function from the appropriate drop down list. For more on building your radial menu as well as other topics, check out our other videos at Wacom.com or youtube.com slash Wacom.